Hello everyone! Today we're diving into the world of A-B testing. We'll explore how you can leverage Toggle and its seamless integration with Amplitude to run experiments, gather insights, and make data-driven decisions for your website. On our app, we have a red carousel on our product page. Our design team worked on a new blue variation, and we want to assess which of the two converts better through an experiment. Let's head to the Toggle dashboard and create a new flag. I'll choose the A-B testing template and choose a name. As we can see, currently all of our users see the variation A, which is the red carousel. But I want 20% of them to experience variation B, the blue one. I'll create a new condition on the user ID and choose random sample. For those users, I want to return variation B. Now let's switch to our code. Instead of hard coding the carousel variation, we want to use the flag we just created. To do that, we will use the use flag hook from the toggle SDK and choose the name of our flag. As you can see, auto completion and type checking helps us avoid any mistake. Now I can replace the hard coded value by the value of the flag. And just like that, 20% of our users see variation B. Actually, let's be more adventurous and increase this to 50%. Back to the toggle dashboard, we simply need to move the slider and hit save. As you can see, when you change allocation, toggles make sure to switch as few users as possible from one variation to the other in order to keep a consistent experience. After letting our experiment run for a little while, we'll want to analyze our results with Amplitude. In our code, we're already tracking clicks on the Buy Now button using Amplitude SDK in an event called Click Buy. For the rest, you don't have to do anything. Toggle detects that we're using Amplitude and automatically tracks all flag evaluation events for us. Let's jump to our Amplitude dashboard to see the results. Hit Create and choose Funnel. We'll track the conversion rate from the product page to clicking the Buy Now button. The first step of our funnel is the Page View event. This is tracked automatically by Amplitude. We'll add a filter to specifically target our product page. The second and last step is the click by event. This is the one that we explicitly tracked in our code. Already, we see that our overall conversion rate is 27.5%. But how does this vary between our two carousel variations? Let's create a segment for variation A. Thankfully, Toggle automatically tracks flags evaluation events for us, so we can leverage that to build our segment. We'll then add a filter on the slug to target our flag. Here, we want users who evaluated our carousel flag. We can add a second filter on the value of the flag to only target users who saw variation A. Let's duplicate our segment for variation B. Change its name so we can keep track of what is going on and change the filter to target variation B. And here we have it. Variation A converts at 36.4% while variation B converts at 29.4%. This tells us that our original red carousel variation A is the winner. This means that for our carousel, we'll stick with variation A. And that's it. Toggle's seamless integration with Amplitude makes A-B testing a breeze, helping you improve your KPIs. Happy experimenting!